in the previous video i teased this video or this effect and in this video i'll show you how to make this the first thing we need to do is create a text with an svg or create an svg file of the text that we want to use in this case i'm using figma but you can use anything that produces an svg text or svg file now i'm not sure if in the venture software chain there will be this option to turn the text into shapes i heard something about that might be wrong but if there is might be a good cool thing that we can do with that because that's something similar to this first thing we need to do is in figma and this is the one i use for a bunch of stuff so that's why it's so crowded but basically press t and then write your text after you have written your text you can change the font or anything that you want right here you don't need to change the color because you can do that later inside the venture solve now we're gonna go to export right here and make sure that svg is selected and then you simply export it right there now let's jump into the Vinci. inside a fusion composition what we want to do is this this is what it looks like it's pretty simple let me tell you what you want to do is go to fusion now import and then svg here find the svg that you just downloaded from figma or anything you used and here you can change the size if you make this bigger the lower one will automatically follow along so don't worry about that now the thing that happens is that if you bring all your text like these it will bring try to make these as simple as possible so it will bring these as only a layer of notes because they are all in the same color now if you are smarter than me you probably would have gotten the idea of changing the individual letters colors and that would have been a great idea that way it will just come from figma all the way just like one color with one layer another color another layer per letter basically but it's not that complicated because our word is pretty simple so let me press two right here these three are these h so i'm just gonna grab the e that are these and i'm gonna add both l's and i'm just gonna move them like that holding shift i separate them basically and now we're gonna add a background node for each of these pressing ctrl v or ctrl c ctrl v like that and connect them like these now each of them has their own layer all right now we have the text now go back to this one that's in the middle because some of them will come with the paint mode inverted just want to make sure that they are added so that they don't have that weird thing that happens right here okay so i'm going to show you how to do this on one letter because it's pretty straightforward and you once you do one you will know how to do the others the only thing i did a little bit different what for was the o because it was going to be a little bit more complicated to do so with the o unless i use the solid and then yeah it just becomes a little bit more complicated with the o because it has a separate mask right here all right so on the age we're gonna do this first we're gonna select this one so we're gonna create the last keyframe so at frame 12 go to right click here or click on that keyframe and then we're gonna go back select these holding shift move these back so click hold then shape like that and then once you're really close you can hold control and move this with your arrow keys or simply click again try to layer these on top of that then we're gonna do that for the other one after on the frame 12 like that create a keyframe now at 24 final position and then go back and do that same process for this one now we're gonna go closer until we don't see anything there we go and lastly we want to do these for the other one so frame 24 create an initial position and since this is shorter we're just going to use these at six frames bring these closer there it goes for some reason in this one it was always complicated for some reason it didn't want to click and go it was always going vertically there we have it now we press play we have the age animated like that now the cool part is that you can select these go into the spline tool like that there and then press f it will smooth out if you want to add motion blur to these then you will have to do these individually on each of these paths right so that's an optional step all right now let's jump into this one that has all of the animations ready let's take a look like that on the o what i did was i used an ellipse as a mask and then i painted with the multiply and i simply increase the border width and then i animated the length and position of it like that so you can always change the position if you want to move the starting point 
pretty simple and straightforward. Now, let me quickly interrupt this video and tell you about the Paperful FX and Hand Drawn Toolkit bundle that I've just created, which is that if you buy the Hand Drawn Toolkit and then mix it up with the Paperful FX, you will be getting 20 bucks off the Paperful FX or 50% off of it. So if you're interested and that's something that you will find useful, make sure to check out the Suave store if you're interested. That's it. Let's continue with the video. Now, let me show you what I did here. Oh, in this case, I use the instances because we're not going to change the color of the backgrounds right here. So you can do that as well. And to do that, simply press Ctrl C and then Ctrl Shift V to paste it. All right. Now on the main composition that we have here, what I did was I have the main background. This is how it starts. Then we have these basically one background node that we can use. And then you select the first color that you want to have. In this case, I use this yellow one, but you don't have to. Then we can copy and paste these and simply change the color to something else like this purple. Connect this there and then one more and it's going to be the final color. Now you can repeat these as many times as you want because we don't have to move the keyframes that much anymore. Let me just connect this here right there and we can see these like that. Now we have that first one. And it looks like that. Connect the second background node and we're going to go and connect the same hello that we have here. And we're going to use a control, not control, but open this menu with control and spacebar and add time speed node. Double click on speed. Now set the delay to five or whatever amount of frames that you want to delay these to. Let's say 10. So it will start after 10 frames. Now we're going to copy this one and do the same process. But in this case, we're going to delay these by, let's say, 20. So if we press play, we have this super cool motion text animation that you can use on pretty much any type of video that you want. I use this on a company video once, but then the company went bankrupt. Hopefully it's not a bad luck for these texts. <laughs> it was hopefully it was not because of the well, it wasn't because of this text animation. But yeah, anyways, that's how you can create this text animation. And it's pretty cool. Now, if you add sound effects, it will look a lot better and the experience will be a lot cooler. So that is it for this video.